Hey, this is uh, Nick from ReviewOutlaw.com. Today I'm going to show you how to build a mining rig. So what we have here is I have just some just sheet metal here, aluminum, uh, from Home Depot. And these pieces, they go for about $5 um, at Home Depot. And as you can see, we have two different sizes here. Each one's about four feet long. And they kind of connect into each other here. So what I'm going to be building is actually a shape that will allow my motherboard and power supply to sit. So what we have here is we have a power supply and a motherboard. So once this is built, this is going to be my bottom. And the power supply here will sit like this. And we have a motherboard right here. And this is going to sit just like this. Or yes, like this. And we have a hard drive tray with solid state. It's going to sit back here. And we'll be building a frame up here, which will allow the power, um, the video cards to have nice cooling uh, throughout. And then what I've taken um, is basically this, just these pieces so far, and I've screwed them together. And so this is giving me my frame. Um, and then next I'm going to be leveling it up and getting my next thing up to size. And then I'll show you how to put that together. And so what we're going to do is take these four feet pieces here and we want to cut them up into pieces, one foot sections, one foot, and then two foot. And that's going to give us the one foot, the one foot, and then the two feet here. And then I'll show you how to do the next part. Okay, now what I've done is I've marked um, my larger piece, the piece that's wider, into a two foot section, and then my smaller piece into a single foot, single foot. So that these two will connect into each other on the top piece. And just use my Ryobi here. I'm gonna cut this right in half, should go pretty quick. Okay, let's cut in half now. What we wanna do is just grind this down a little bit. Let's end. pretty good. So now we want to just check my other side here. And this one. I'm going to grind this down a little bit. This one's looking good now. And I'm going to cut two small pieces off here. We're gonna move my two ends. Okay, well now what I've done is I've right taken my two pieces here and I've connected them and I've just put them over my top piece. As you can see, they're still loose. And what you do is put them over my top piece and you want it to be as close as possible so when I'm building it up, it's uh, more of a rectangle and less of some kind of weird circle thing. <laughs> but it's basically gonna be floating up here uh, and this will allow my video cards to have all the cooling it needs. Now how I'm going to connect these pieces is, now that I know the size is correct, I'm going to put it underneath here. Get this thing out of the way. I have a drill here with a pretty small bit and I have some screws. Some screws right here. Now they're going to hang out, but at the very end I'm just going to nip them off so I don't see that. I'm going to make sure my ends are nice and tight down here and tight against here. So what I'll do now is also be even. Okay, Let's check everything. It's good to check it again and again. Be even to this board. We're we'll working on a larger workbench, it's a little bit easier to do all this. Make sure my ends are nice and tight. I'm going to be kind of 
I'm going to keep rechecking, but I'm going to drill now through this hole here. Just pre drill. And do that with all the four corners. And then we're going to put some screws in. We put the screw in here, the self-tapping metal screw. Just hang it off the edge here because it's going to go past. And there we go. I'm get my four of the screws in, and we'll have the second part. Of okay, what I'm doing now is I'm uh, taking the steel post here. I'm making my legs, and I've just cut them about a foot, and I marked it. And we're gonna just cut one down so you can see how it goes. Yeah, cuts, cuts pretty good. And the same thing, I have to clean up my edges. I'm gonna do about six feet. Give me a nice strong connection point. And just gonna clean these edges up. Okay, what I've done here is I have a L bracket and I've just uh, pre-drilled two holes here and then I'm taking it, putting it on the frame, just mark it with a marker. Uh, well, my two holes are going onto there. Just gonna put this thing through here. So we mark, second mark, which it goes close to the edge as possible. And now I have my marks. Drill a hole. Now the holes drilled. Take some screws. Don't tighten that one so you get the other one in the spot. There we go. So now we got the base part of the frame. Just take some more L brackets and do the top part. And um, yeah, it's looking better and better. Okay, as you can see now, I have my all my L brackets attached and I'm just gonna be putting the top piece on. Put the top piece on, make sure everything fits. Um, just you know, adjusting the metal slightly if it needs to be. And when I'm putting this, I'm actually gonna flip this on here like this. Then I'm just making my marks where they need to go. Drilling down, drill all my holes. Got my screws in here. Get those in, and uh, then have the frame built. Okay, so we finally have the frame, main frame built. Uh, very sturdy, you know, twisting as far as rectangle. Pretty happy with it. A um, couple sharp edges still. And trim these up. Um, but all in all, the design I was looking for It's kind of like a big fish tank without any water in it. Um, my motherboard is going to go here, power supply here, hard drive over here. Video cards can stack up here. I can have some nice airflow going through side to side, depending on how I want it. Um, so, all in all, yes, very happy with it. Okay, what I've done here is I've just mounted a couple more um, the, the motherboard chassis down here, hard drive. So, if I want to put a hard drive, I might just do USB um, thumb drive and use Ubuntu or BAM and we have the hard um, power supply mounting just took the power supply measured up and I grabbed this piece from an old case just cut it out I screwed it down um, so that should keep the power supply down all the wires will come up here organize all of them um, 
So yeah, that's that's about it. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna prime it, and um, then I'm gonna paint it all black. So it'll give a nice look. Just check for any sharp edges, and uh, yeah, this should be nice and strong now, sturdy. Hold on my graphics cards. So as far as time wise, it's probably three and a half hours to four hours of time, being it's my first time building it. So um, if you could have welded this, or if I could have welded this, I could have done, done probably half the time, maybe even less. Um, but just because I'm just screwing and figuring it out as you're going along, it, it does take uh, a good amount of time to do it. All right, I'll give you the next progress. So what I'm doing right now is just gonna give it a coat of uh, gray primer. Just gonna give it extra protection. And then I'm gonna give it a nice coat of uh, gloss black. Spraying it evenly along here, shaking it up, getting all the motherboard and everything. Now this isn't really needed. It's just gonna make it look a heck of a lot better. Um, right now you see all the imperfections, scratches, dings, screws. Once you paint it all one color, it comes together much nicer. So uh, I'll show you the next stage. Okay, the paint, uh, gray primer paint here has dried to the touch. Um, so now I'm gonna do is put some high gloss uh, black paint on, shake it up a little bit, and I'm gonna spray it on. Let's see how it looks. Here we have the case, pretty much painted black. I'm gonna let that dry for a couple hours. And then we'll uh, put it together, boot it up, and see what we got. Okay, so now I have my uh, case pretty much built. Um, now I need to put the hardware in. So let's start off with the motherboard. Um, I have a Gigabyte motherboard. It's a 990FX. Um, it has one, two, three, four, five, six uh, possible graphics cards that can be put in. This is a 1X, this is a 16X, and what I have coming in is a 1 to 16X riser cable that's gonna let it come up. Now, I've already put in my Kingston memory. I have eight gigs of 1600 memory. And as far as the chip, this is just a cheap uh, $40 Semperon chip because the chip on this particular mining rig does not matter since I'm not CPU money. And then for, we have for the hard drive here is a solid state 120 gig Kingston. Now I'm gonna be putting Windows 8 on there um, and just installing that. And then I'm gonna be using some software. I'll show you that later on. Here we have a 1300 EVGA um, power supply here and it has options up to six VGAs. Now, and then also additional power right here, which is nice. And then I have two so far of these R9280X Safaris. And these are pretty big monsters. You're gonna need a lot of power for these. That's why we have the big power supply. I might, if I do six of these guys, I might need an additional power supply. So we'll see um, how many I, I use here. So uh, as far as putting it together, uh, I've already put the chip on. You're going to see the chip in. You're going to put your memory in. Um, and make sure, you know, ground yourself out when you, when you install that. Um, now, when setting up the board itself, make sure your screws are always set up properly. You don't want any other extra screws where they don't belong. I'm going to guide this in. And if I'm missing, see I'm missing a screw over here. A little extra bag of screws where I can get and um, get an extra one on here if I'm missing a screw at a certain point. Now when you rest this, because the bottom is very sensitive, try to rest it you know, in the box or in a static, anti-static bag. Uh, it's preferable not to rest it on anything that um, can scratch or damage the bottom of the, of the um, motherboard. So now that I have this in, just 
check it out again, make sure all the holes line up. And they all line up now, good. So I'm gonna screw this in, and then I will, um, putting the different components in. So I'm just gonna choose that. Okay, so what I've learned, and what's great about watching my video here, is you don't have to go through this learning process, is after getting it built, um, if you put the two case hands next to each other, it gets very hot. Actually, one of them, one of them gets very hot very quickly. So what we've learned here is that we need to set up these risers. Now the problem is the nine inch risers, it will reach up here, but we can't really spread it out too far. I mean, the max we have is about right here. So it's still gonna put, if you go six graphics cards, gonna put them very close. So what I need to do is move the motherboard more in the center of the case, and I need to lower this. Um, I'll give, uh, I'll find the measurement once I cut it, but I'm going to cut it down to be about right there. So I'll have a nice spread out and I'll put this more over here. So this one will rack right here, 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 and here. And I'll have a nice, um, area to kind of distribute that heat. And then I'm going to set up two fans right here just to blow, uh, through this and cool it down. So... Yeah, I'll show you the process of remodding this, but if I had done this initially correct the first time, I would have saved myself a lot of work. So that's what I'm giving you this little video here. And the cat is now inspecting the mining rig. All right, I'll keep you right. Okay, and I see I have my, uh, all my parts back out again. Um, and what I'm gonna be doing is just moving the motherboard more towards the center here, just still leaving enough room for heat for the power supply, but more towards the center so I can distribute it my video cards evenly, and maybe just moving this hard drive tray slightly over. So uh, we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, you see now I have moved um, the motherboard bracket as close to the middle as I can get it um, because of the power supply here. And so it's about five and a half, six, so pretty close. Now the height, right now I had about 12 inches, 13 inches. Um, take just this little riser bar here. This is a nine inch riser. And you can see here, this is where the first PCI card is going to set. And you can see it's going to come up to about here. And then it's going to just be distributed. And then this one will go over to here. But as far as I can go, I can only go over here, which is fine because I get the power supply here anyway. So um, that's going to be in the way. Um, so, and we still want to make sure we have room. So I'm going to drop that to be about eight inches. That's going to give me a good solid height. It'll still be able to fit over everything. And so now I've taken the top off and I've just marked. I ended up going about eight and a half up from here um, because it's going to add another half inch for the top. I mean nine inches and with the fan that's going to just work out perfectly for me. You want to make your own measurements based on your graphics card size, the fan size and everything like that, how long cables you go with. So you're going to make your own adjustments. Now I'm just going to zip these four off and uh, reattach it. Okay, here I've got the new case zipped up. I'm just getting, trying to figure out where we're going to be putting these different graphics cards. Do is actually I can mark, I can mark right here where my screws going to go in. And I also want to get an idea back here because we need something for this to rest on. So this should be the weight a little bit. Um, I make something like right back here. Just need to get an idea of, of height wise where that's going to go. So I'm going to get that marked in. Get my top screws marked, pre-drill these so I can just screw the cards in as they come in. I'm going to do the same thing on the flip side, on this side, see how far over here we can get. And it's pretty much going to reach the whole way, I can see that now, but so that's what we're doing right now. Okay, now you can see here I've added the bar that's going to hold the graphics card. I have my graphics card sitting right here, 
be screwing the holes for that shortly. And I'm just going to test out, make sure that everything fits back where it needs to fit. Um, the motherboard, power supply, hard drive, wires coming out. And uh, just give it one last check over and then I will be uh, repainting it. And um, after that's done, then I'll be putting everything back together and showing you guys how to install uh, all the software we need to, to run this real nice. Okay, so now for the fun part, we have the case, all the screws, I'm uh, just going to go through the, the rack itself here, got all the screws pre-drilled for my video cards. Um, we got the motherboard mounted in the middle. This back bracket is going to hold the graphics card like so. So that when they're sitting up here, they can be screwed in securely, but they're floating above the motherboard. <coughs> Power supply is going to be here, letting all the heat come out this direction. Probably going to be adding two additional fans here, just to blow uh, this way, get some more um, air flowing and hard drive is mounting here I have my power button here with my power lights um, so yeah let's just go ahead and build it uh, as far as parts we have my power supply 120 gig Kingston solid state a couple wire ties these screws here are going to be for mounting down the motherboard some additional screws in case you need them two graphics cards for now I have some more graphic cards back ordered. These are uh, Safari's R9280Xs, which, uh, according to online, gets about 700 um, kilohash a second per card. So six of these uh, can go up to robot right around 4.5 uh, megahash a second. We got a riser cable. Um, this riser cable I've tested is not the best. I want to get one with a power cord. Uh, using this one here, I, it'll run for a while, but I have been getting some freezing. So I, I think that's due to the quality of the riser cable here itself. So I'm going to upgrade my riser cable. Then the motherboard itself, Gigabit, very solid, good brand. Uh, 8 gigs of memory in here. Um, and we have a Semperon core, just a cheap $40 chip, comes with a fan. So, first I'm actually going to start with the power supply. We want to mount this in here. This is a little tight, we want it to be nice and tight so that it doesn't move around. Good. Now we're going to get screws in here as far as building it um, I, I, the last bit added about another hour so all in all let's say four and a half hours total of work into it um, knowing all that would have built it um, again um, I probably just would have bought the pre-assembled kit, but it, it is nice if you like learning how to build um, your own case. If you're just the kind of person who likes doing things yourself, then building your own rack is for you. Or if you're just really cheap, because it will save you a good amount of money. A pre-made rack, I think, is about 130 for an aluminum rack. And... Um, Actually, just put this on the ground here. Okay, so we get the power supply mounted in here now. There's two screws here. It's uh, securely just found it fastened back here. I get my um, hard drive here. This kind of just sits in here, pretty snug, locked in. Um, let's get the motherboard on next. So just always grab these components from the side, try not to touch any at the bottom in case you build up static. And you usually want to ground yourself out. Um, so it should fit nice and snug there. You want to check on the bottom, make sure that there's not any piece that's not touching where it shouldn't be. Everything seems to be lining up pretty good. 
and that looks good. So we're going to screw in screws now. Get the motherboard mounted down. So now I got my motherboard mounted down nice and secure, nice and snug. I'm going to put my um, different power lights on. Now I can try to probably clean up my wiring a little bit later. The wire tying this down. Right now I'm just going to make sure it's working. Power switch. Sometimes they're not always color coded right. It's usually red. Of course, now we've painted everything black. It's my hard drive light. And then my power light. And they all come on, you can just reverse the two lights. Um, next, I'm going to get the power for the motherboard. In here. And I got a little bit close to my hard drive in the case for the power power here. I think I can still squeeze it in. But if you're building yours, keep that in mind on the back ports. Try to leave yourself a little bit more space than I did. And we're gonna pinch that in. Now on some motherboards, you have the 24 pin. Um, some of them are 20 pins, you look at yours. Then mine has an additional adapter here. And you'll see it says CPU on, my, on your power supply generally. And you're going to want to make sure that is plugged in. And these two will connect. Okay, you always check that, make sure those are snug. Power's in, that's in. Um, what I'll do is I'll clean up this a little bit now that I have before I put my graphics cards in, and then we'll put the graphics cards in. Clean up the wire a little bit right now. Okay, so now I have wire tied down my wires. Here's along this back bar. Just to clean up the wires a little bit, a little bit looks a lot nicer now, and it's going to have more airflow. So that is highly recommended. Now my graphics card down. Um, now I have this adapter here, actually, that I want to use. And these larger cards um, take both an 8 and a 6 pin power. power. I'm going to get that in. Actually, first, I'm going to put my riser in here. Again, try to grab not this, but the corners of your card because uh, you can short circuit. So, generally, anything plastic, the outside edges is what's safe to touch. Anything gold, any of these, not so good to touch. Uh, and you will fry your card potentially if you're not static free. So th this thing goes right in here just like this. Pushes right in. Be gentle with it. And it doesn't feel right, just pull it out. Back in again. Until you feel like it's snug. In here, double check this. This sh shouldn't see any gold on the bottom, which I don't. Now, give the ca cat a little pet here and see if we can get some screws to actually fit in. I get this mounted down. That is actually working surprisingly. So that is pretty cool. Nice. That's actually super surprising. <laughs> so that's working. Last but not least, we'll get the power in. And 
And once the power is in, we can shortly after that give it a tip. Okay, so here we go. We have two video cards that I have mounted. Uh, more will be coming. I got my riser cards here. Um, it's still going to allow a nice heat flow in. I've wire tied up my different power cables that I have. Uh, so it's still going to allow a lot of heat flow to flow through. Um, I just got a USB stick. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn it on. And if we put everything together right, should boot. But now I just have it on the floor on a milk crate with a fan blowing air over it. This is in the basement. Um, so later on I'll probably put it up on a table or a shelf, something like that. Um, once I get my other video cards in and I know everything's working the way it should. So power video versus turn the power supply on. Then we're gonna hit actually the network cable plugged in ahead of time. There we go. And we hit the power button. Power light's on. Hard drive light, I saw a click. The fans should be turning. You should always check your fans. They are. Feel the airflow. Everything feels good. Definitely feel the air coming off this fan here. And yeah, so we got it booting here. Should have a boot up shortly. So as you can see here, CG Miner starting to boot. Uh, I'm going to tweak, tweak my settings a little bit. <laughs> but it is showing GP1 0, GPU 1. It's starting to raise up in the killer hash. Um, the one that has the light glowing is actually the one I want to put the, vid the um, cable into. And so that's why I wasn't showing the display right away. Um, but the fan's moving good. It's rising up in the hash, and I have to tweak the settings there to make sure um, I'm getting the right amount um, out of that. But uh, yeah, everything seems to be working good. I'm going to get my other video cards in and show you a boot up then. And I'll go into the OS and show you how to get all your software programmed.